Welcome back. If you watch this program with any regularity, you know that we are big. And when I say big, I mean hungry, big fans of even Steven Sandwiches. If you're familiar with the story, the work that they do is amazing, not just because they feed us delicious food, but they also help those of us in need in our communities in a very real way. And that business decision and that lovely fact of what they do with their lives is what has led us to our conversation this morning. Co-founder Sarah Day is here this morning. She has received a Sago Award from right here in Utah for her work in social innovation. And we're so pleased to have her with us. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. Nice okay. to see you, thanks for coming. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Pretty huge. I know, and I'm still kind of getting used to it. Have you, have you gotten awards or recognition like this before? Um, we've gotten a lot as a company, you know, best sandwiches, uh, most fabulous sandwiches, <laughs> best new concept, things like that. But to be recognized individually is really awesome. So kind of first time with that. A, a, a different kind of thing for sure. Yeah. And, and talk about this, the, talk about the category and in the context of what the original idea behind Even Stevens was yeah. that has given rise to this recognition. Yeah, so the award was for social innovation, which is awesome. Um, and I was a finalist along with a couple other companies and Even Stevens happened to win, which is so exciting. Um, and so the concept behind Even Stevens is we are a sandwich shop for the cause. So when you buy a sandwich, we then donate one to a local nonprofit. Um, and now we have 20 locations. And because we pick four nonprofits per store, we're now partnered with 80 nonprofits in six states. Wow. And we're at, we're at uh, two point, almost 2.9 million sandwiches donated. So we'll probably hit 3 million in July, which is really exciting. So. Stay tuned for that. That's so cool. Yeah. That's just amazing. Yeah, so it's been crazy. When when Brandon was here and, and we made a, a Cuban sandwich and enjoyed yeah. that, and that's not the point of this question. <laughs> we have a serious question here. But the Cuban was so good. <laughs> we talked about the advantage, so to speak, that even Stevens has of having this philanthropic orientation mm -hmm. from the, the beginning yeah. of the planning of the business and how the, the fact that everything that you have done has, has taken place incorporating that yeah. into your activities, into your plans, into your expansion. Yeah. Talk about how that has, has made it more possible, not only for you to donate yeah. three million sandwiches, but also communicate uh, an attitude and a, a life approach that I think is, is really at the yeah. core of what the Sago Award is. Yeah, so with our concept, we knew from day one, okay, we wanna help people, we wanna give back, but we wanna do it really smart. Um, so there's, you know, everybody can give back, but we knew if we wanted to donate a sandwich for every sandwich we sell, we have to do that smart. Um, just because if we're actually, so we don't actually make the sandwiches, we right. donate. Um, just because, you know, the food waste that would be associated with that, we knew, you know, food waste is already such a problem in America. How can we kind of not do it that way? Be a so, part of that solution too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what we do is we pick four nonprofits per store and we set them each up with a Cisco account. I don't know if you're familiar with sure, Cisco. Sure. So they're a national food distributor, that's who we use. So each of these partners essentially gets to become like a restaurant and order in um, food every month rather than us just showing up, here you go. Right. They get to pick what they want, when they want it, use their budget to their best ability, which just makes it so much more sustainable. And really every nonprofit has such different clientele you know, they, they know them best, so let's get put the power in their hands. And, and you just finished with exactly the word that I was thinking of, empowerment, that yeah. your partners aren't just people who you, as the old saying goes, it's, it's not a hand down or a hand out, it's a, it's a hand, hand up. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. So this award, of course, it's always nice to, to be the recipient and, yeah. and be recognized for your good work. It's also good for business and especially yeah. in the sense that it amplifies the story mm -hmm. of you. And look at you there, that's what a lovely photograph. <laughs> it's so great. Yeah. Must be, it must be a thrilling moment. It, it was, it was, 
I couldn't believe I won because you didn't know until you got there. So it was really? kind of like you're, you're finding out with the audience. So yeah, good moment. <laughs> it occurs to me that, that this is yet another platform mm -hmm. for you to be able to expand your message and of course the other thing is and, and again we're, we're familiar with this from from Brandon's visits that even Stevens is a growing business mm -hmm. and even though you're doing good philanthropic work in the end you got to make money to yeah. stay in business and yeah. to grow but it feels like there's a, a synergy about all of this yeah that in some ways m maybe other folks can't claim this yeah. beautiful situation, but talk about what, what your goals are, what your excitement is about the future and about continuing to grow both sides yeah. of the business. Um, so yeah, we've got plans. Uh, right now we're mostly in the West and I think we'll keep expanding West for at least the next couple of years. Um, uh, we've got stores planned in California coming up, so that's exciting. Excited to go out there. Um, <laughs> meet with the nonprofits out there. Socially innovate. Yeah. yeah, I think I have the best job getting to travel and meet with cool nonprofits around, that's the, awesome. around the states. But yeah, just keep um, opening more stores in more communities and therefore partnering with more nonprofits. And then again, just donating more um, funds to buy food to each of them. And so people have been really receptive to our company and our message and love what we do and I think we provide a really easy way to incorporate giving back into your everyday routine. Um, I necessarily can't go out and write a big check say like my parents would but I can go buy a sandwich or support you know these, these co uh, companies that have little give backs incorporated that it's just a lot easier to do it all the time even without thinking about it. So. It's amazing yeah. stuff. And I'm sure much more giving and, and much more partnership to yeah. to come with with new friends, and yeah. that has to be exciting. I, yeah. I I love the idea that partnering locally means that that you're not just with one organization yeah. always, but that you can find new partners for whom the the difference is dramatic. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, because we really try and pick both uh, big nonprofits that can take whatever we can throw at them, but also the smaller guys that you know we're really kind of changing lives there. Um, and we kind of work across the map, you know, a lot of times when people hear about our concept, they think, oh, you just work with the homeless. We do, but that's one small part of it. It's senior centers, addiction recovery, um, domestic violence, boys and girls clubs. Like we're really all across the map, which I really enjoy because we just get to help everybody. That's so, great. Yeah. Final question. Yes. Favorite sandwich. Favorite sandwich still today after four years is the pot roast dip. So it's a uh, pot roast, jalapeno jelly, Swiss cheese on a baguette. So it's like melty, cheesy, meaty, dip it. Dip. It's so good. Goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, so nice to meet Thanks you. Thank you me. so much yeah. for coming. Thank you. Congratulations and um, thank you. It's a weird thing to say. I'm, I'm not a recipient, but thank you for all you do, what you do for people who are in need in the most basic human way. It's just super awesome. And uh, come back and visit again soon. Cool. Thank and you. And I hope to see you in an even Stevens one of these yes. days. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sarah Day, co-founder of Even Stevens. They do great work. And in the end, it's that delicious Sammy that keeps you coming back around to be a participant in helping others. Have a sandwich. Help out a hungry person. Congratulations on the Sago Award. We're going to take a quick break. There's lots more show happening. Stay tuned right here on Park City Television.